welcome to episode 131 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Yes, we're just on the cusp, on the cusp of Halloween. So um, this week we're uh, we're going back to my childhood, uh, one of my childhood consoles, and we're going to play a whole bunch of games for the ColecoVision, which, as you, as you can see, we like the ColecoVision. Can you see? Can you see? Uh-huh. Um, so... We've got slightly more than normal for a Collector Vision. Uh, sorry, for the Collector Vision, because they tend to be games that perhaps you don't want to watch being played an awful long time. We're going to check them out, and then we're going to, um, you know, play them as long as we feel like we should. And and do you know what? I'm looking through the list. Don't actually think I owned any of these games as a kid. Now, we may find that as soon as we started playing them and stuff like that, we might find that perhaps I did and I just forgot. Uh, so let's move over to the arcade and let's get some games played, shall we? Uh, yo to Nutty Cluster, who's... Uh, oh, I started a little bit late, so she's on time for her this week, which is nice. Uh, let's go. Gee, whoop, there we go. Oh, look at that beauty. The Coleca Vision. Ah, uh, uh, I've still got my original one that um, that broke, and my cousin, uh, they're into electronics, and my cousin repaired it, which was nice. Um, I haven't plugged it in for a long time to see if it works, I must admit. Might have to do that soon. So... We're going in alphabetical order, and we started at the top, and I filled in some gaps of what we haven't played before. So we've got A to H. Um, is what we're looking at tonight. Um, so we're going to start with a game that begins with H. Yep. Uh, not H. A. Oh, that would me being all clever and funny and all that. <laughs> not really. Um, so we're going to play a game called Alcazar. The Forgotten Fortress. And it would help if I turned my pad on, wouldn't it? Um, sorry, I'm all I'm all at sixes and sevens or eights and nines or something anyway, because uh, seconds before I started the show, I, um, I wiped, accidentally wiped my LCD panel. Um, so I thought, oh, it'd be a quick fix. I'd be able to sort that out. No problem. And... Um, no, no, I need to put everything else back on it that I wiped off. How irritating is that, I ask you. Um, okay, so lest we forget, the um, the Collector Vision has um, a number pad joystick, as you as you can kind of see over over there and down a little bit. Can you can you about here-ish? Yes. So they all start by you pressing a number. Now, last time we did this, I think I set up a controller so that its shoulder buttons were possibly one. Let's have a look. Oh, what have we got in there? Okay, so left one and left two are number one and two. So, and R2, shit, I'll have to remember that, what, R2 is the hash, because quite often you need to hash to reset. So, um, if we do uh, an L1, and then check the audio and see what's going on. If we're actually supposed to have any. Spoilers. Probably are. Okay, so. Oh, I see. Press star. Press star to start. The only one that I've not mapped, I think. What have I got star mapped as? I don't I don't have star mapped for anything so K 
can we map it as R1? Yes, we can. And that's R2. Right, so our symbols are on our right shoulder buttons. And our numbers are on our left shoulder buttons. Right. Okay. 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 So, I don't know if we'll... be expecting audio until we actually press start. So let's do that now. Okay. I think we're just going to try a different game for a second. Oh, now that does have audio. So, okay. It has audio for me, but it doesn't have it for you. Now. Oh, it, it does have audio for you. Well, that means that loopback is a total pile of shite because it's not showing anything. Although it's better it shows it here than in on there, I suppose. So it does mean that Alcazar apparently doesn't appear to have sound. Oh, it does. It's super, super quiet though. Can you hear? Right. Okay, so we sorted then. We sorted. But what do we do? Okay. I guess we, we, we're walking through a castle. How do we fight? So if we've got, we've, right, so that's obviously a gun. We've got guns in our pockets, but don't appear. Right, that's not very good, is it? So one of these buttons should shoot, I think. Or am I supposed... No, why, do, why give me a gun and then suggest I avoid... Right, so all that does is move stuff around. That button. And all that button does is move stuff around. But I didn't fire automatically when I met up with the guard, did I? Oh! Bottomless pit. So are the doors in the same order? Am I going the same way? It's not randomly generated. Okay. Oh, does oh is the bloke waiting for me now? Well, can I go that way instead? Oh, I can, but do I want to? And now, now I'm lost. So, yeah, okay. So what's that noise? When I press the button, you get a little dink. But what is that? I 
think it's safe to say I've got no idea what's going on. I mean, what are these? I hope you realise that if, uh, if something bad happens now, I've got no idea which doors I've been through. I mean, do we have to get to the other... I don't understand where we have to get to. I can't go to wherever that is. So we've got to go into another castle. Oh, what's that? You see, now it gives me something else to... <clears throat> right, the, the buttons cannot look at map. Right, so the buttons obviously do mappy looky things. So I've got... Or, or rocks. I've got something in my hand that looks like poison, maybe. Is it to poison a fly? Uh. See, now I've just swapped it for something. So I can't shoot. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. I mean, you could spend hours just fannying on walking around. Oh, and just pop out. Oh, pop out the same place you came in. That's rubbish. Okay. Let's have a look in a red castle, shall we? So I, I do see there's two green squares at the bottom, which is a map. That I can't look at. So we can walk around this without getting... I assume this is what teleported us through last time. All right, so... Looking at our map, we need to go... Oh! Toss pot. Um, do, do you know what? I think I'm possibly... Possibly done with this uh, Alcazar the Forgotten Fortress and I'm surprised because it's an Activision game as well and we do have Activision on the wheel because they did produce a lot of classic games but um, I have to remember not to put this one on the list when we do when we do Activision um, okay let's move on to the amazing bump man um, not the Mr. Man of the same name. This is, um, well, who knows? We're going to find out when we start it. Um, well, we have started it to see if we can get audio, but that's a different kettle of fish. So, there we go. This looks horribly like it might be a maths thing. Uh, so, for addition, press 1 and for subtra subtraction, press 2. So we're gonna, we think, I think we're going to press 1. And we're going to press 2. <gasps> Look at me. Look at me splashing out. Show solution, hide solution. 
what if it's going to show you what's the point in doing the game let's do show see what it does okay so what do we do Where, where's, where can we get the answers from? Oh, so I'm getting points for doing this. So am I expected to find some answers? Where do I find the numbers? Or was I supposed to break I don't know. Well, I knew that was a bad thing that was going to get me. Oh, hang on. So, what's this on the right? It's... it's... Hey, we knew this was going to happen. There'd be some weird games going on. Ooh. So, obviously, when we when we clear a thing, it moves everything along. But don't know what the benefit of that is. And. You don't lose a horizontal, you don't lose a row when you clear that. So, what is the point? We know that 2 and 5 is... Oh, oh, numbers. I see numbers. Right, okay. So, how do we put in the right number? And what's the five for? And what happened? Okay, so we've, we've picked up a five. Okay, so that one didn't disappear, is it? Because it's got a... Oh no, okay. Mm, confused. So, I, I'm getting a score for clearing this, but it does seem a bit pointless. Oh, that one didn't go. Am I supposed to shoot it? Well, why would you not? Why did you? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I think I shot it, and it didn't didn't die. Um. So what are we doing? What are we doing? Why? So we're getting more and more full shapes to stop us moving around. But I don't get what we're supposed to be doing. Because I can't shoot that. So what are, what are my bullets for? Oh, we lived in a different era back then, didn't we? Jeez. Um...
so I can shoot them. I don't have to be walking through them. But I still don't get it. Um, and this is why we put more games than we'd normally play on because we know that most of them are going to be a switch it. Now you see, that one didn't disappear. Why is that? Right, so I've just paused it and I don't know why and how. Okay, so that's how. Um, well, look, should we try? I mean, I can't imagine Easy's going to be any different. No, I think you just get more men. Six! Six. I mean, six what? I mean, this can't be the this can't be the the game, can it? This just just cannot. So. I mean, is it easy because we don't have a bad guy in this one? And now I've shot all my shots, for want of a better expression. See? So... I think we're giving up on this one. And unless somebody emails us... Or, you know, I could do my own research, I suppose. Um, yeah. Well, look, that was um, amazing bump man. Difficult to understand bump man. Am I missing something really stupid? It may it may involve a checking of a manual at some point, but for now we will um we will say goodbye to the amazing bunk man and we will open our next game which is called Beam Rider Uh so so far I've not recognised the two games we've played already. Oh, another Activision one. There's going to be no games left to play for the um, for the Activision show because we're playing them all now. Uh, players one to four. I think I've just pressed one. Oh yeah. Well, it's nice to see a button actually doing something this time. I think I've just used up all my good bullets, though. All right. Well, look. It's easy to understand, isn't it? It wants to be Tron. I'm guessing those red things that are coming down here are going to kill me if I stay. Yes. Thought they might charge up my lasers. When you're ready. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know what I pressed there. Oh, I still have no bullets. No good bullets. Or missiles. I'm stuck on that bottom one now. I can't move. It's a bit like Flat Tempest, if you remember Tempest. Shouldn't have used all my big bullets, should I? It's the only way you could kill that one. Ooh, now. Oh, I died. I died. So we're going to save the big ones for the last, for the boss. Now, aren't they? Oh, are you gonna put me back at the start, or are you gonna? Oh, you're gonna game over me. Game over, man. Okay. Gonna let me just. Super. I wish you could move up and down. I know that's not the point of the game, but... I think these guys are technically sticking to the lines. Little buggers. Oh. Oh. Wasted my bullets shooting shrapnel. sharp thing in your head. <sighs> That'll save you forever to listen to button noises.
never gonna get that big ship. Not gonna get through again, am I? Oh no! I actually oh no before I died then killed myself because I went oh no! Um, okay, well, look, I don't. There's not a lot to Beam Rider. Um, I don't think there are either any any other options either. So we restart and see if they've got any options. So I think the first option is one player, and. I've only got one and two sorted, so let's do two and see what happens. See if we notice a difference. Yes, I see a difference straight away. I could have avoided them once. Just five more to get. We'll try a big ship. Fuck off. Yeah. Cornered me in. Cornered me in. Shit bag. Um right. Well there you go. That was um Beam Rider. I said it like it was two words, but it's actually written like one. It's beam Rider. Beam Rider. Um but we're moving on. We're gonna move on now to um A game called Chuck Norris Super Kicks. Um, now, you would expect I might save this for a, a, f a film, like a movie, but it's not. I don't think it's a movie tie-in. There you go. God, how would you pronounce that? Oh, it's gone now anyway. I was going to say, is it Zonox? But then you're pronouncing... Both X's differently. Uh, number one. Why do my buttons not feel like they do anything? Do you know when you're kind of feeling like you're only playing half the game, it's like, what's going on? Oh. I assume that's Chuck Norris. Oh, I've got no, but maybe, maybe that game earlier on might have worked better if um, all the buttons were working, do you reckon? 
but the button was working for for Beam Rider. Both of different buttons did the different things that they should have done. So what are we doing wrong? So the the numbers are not working as they should there because we've mapped them all to this. So, oh, why? Ooh, I thought I had him doing something. Oh, there was a bit of a kick then. Do I have to be moving? No. Stay, stay on the road, lads. Beware the moon. I mean, it does feel like I've played this. It, it, it's like one of those things that I feel like I remember. Oh, fuck off. But I don't understand why my buttons aren't doing what they should do. Or I don't understand why they worked for one game but not the other. So unless it's an emulation issue. Or if maybe it's a me issue. See what's that move? What's that? So he only does that while I'm moving the icon the uh, the cursor. So if we move What's that button? So we've got a, a we've hmm. I think I might have a kick. Nope. I'm not blaming the controller, Naughty Cluster, and you know that because I've explained that it's it's worked fine. So I think it's probably the game. Let's have another go. I mean, I like being surprised by the games. I know some of you might be saying, why don't you read the bleeding manual before you start? You know, like Amazing Bumpman. We've got a manual. We, the, 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 I think. I think we've got a manual. I downloaded everything when I downloaded everything. Um, and I could look at it and find out, but I like being surprised. I like starting a game not knowing if it's going to be shite or not. As you can see by this. So, it looks like that when I point downwards and press the button, then I get a kick motion. But every time I get close to the person... can't get a kick off oh okay I managed one right so it would be probably better if we got him facing the right way So, up is punch. And left and right is dance like John Travolta. Can't get it now. I mean, it's a bit slow with his reflexes. Oh, and just walked into a throwing star. Oh, 
Ran away? It's not what we expect of Chuck Norris. Right, that punch wasn't very good, was it? Oh no, stop, stop that. What are you doing? Dickhead. Obviously, my timing's a little off. I don't remember it being so sluggish. It obviously was. Look at that, I got past. I got to the bridge. No, I'm letting them get too close. Too close, too close. Come on, you motherfucker. this direction that was too early nope it's blocky me innit taking more of a beating this time though right, that was a punch Come on, Charles. Oh. Oh no. Spent too much time on the grass. Oh no, look at that, game over. But when we started this game, we didn't think I'd be getting a score of 10,000 or not, did we? Nearly 11,000. So, there we go. But I think I'm done. Chuck Norris and his difficult to control punches and kicks. Okay. Well, that's the music for our next game. Oh, I used to like that song as well. All because of the film Electric Dreams. Okay. Escape from the Mind Master. Whoo Okay. Well, obviously, we're going for number one. Oh, no. Wow. Probably not like that. Yeah, did, it, did we just die? I think we did. Let's have a look this way. Oh, we're back up. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, no, I want to go that way. That's it. What have we got here? Oh. Well, I'm sure there was a door. I obviously can't get to that door. 
That back way we come, yeah. Okay, not good. Right, so. Well, why does the corridors disappear? I think we'll move away from that, don't you? See, you'd think there would be... Oh, now we're inside, I see. What's the bit? What? What are you beeping me for? Not quite sure what the beepy beeps are. Oh, what's the T? All right. What was the T for? That takes us into this outer one, so we don't. I think we want to explore the rest of the inner one, don't we? If there is indeed a rest of the inner one. Oh. Right, so we can't get in there. Why? Why can't we get in there? What am I looking at? Oh, is it a mini game? Oh my God, look. I'm gonna die in a sec. There we go. What's it counting up? Oh, I see. I think I see. I've got no idea, I don't see it all. Do we need to pass that game? I assume that's danger then, is it? Okay, do we only get one chance at that game? Okay, I pressed the button and I got a plus. So if I go back and can I pick up that T? I think I pressed the button though. It's not on the floor, is it that? I'm confused. Um, okay. Can't get into this door. Is it beeping because there's a freaking monster near me? So, do we need to go out now and find... Uh... can't do anything. I can't pick up the H. But oh, there's... Oh, right. Okay. Oh. 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 So, do I need to find an X? Uh, not an X. A cross. Because we've got a T. Uh, so, I need to pick them up. So, now I need... I need to... Get out... Um. There. Okay. So, balls, 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 balls. I want to go up this one 
and I'm looking for... I saw it. I'm looking for somewhere to get rid of this X. Wow, that's, what's that what's that blank there for then? Ah oh, okay. That's the T. So where's the plus? Where's the plus? We've looked everywhere. And I can't drop the plus for some reason. And I can't get in there. Don't know where else to look. We've looked everywhere. We've looked everywhere. What's um so this doesn't have I don't know where else to go. I think we might be done with this game. So what if we look that direction instead? Right. Okay, 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 keep, 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 keep. So, we've done all the ones in here that we can do, yes? So, let's go back in. No, we do need to go up that one, don't we? That's right. Just wait and see if it walks past and doesn't see me. Don't walk him past, is it? Right, okay. I don't know if it can follow me through doors or what, but what's in this one? Nothing. So where's all the other letters? Are they around the corner? Right. What else have we got? in here. We don't have any other number letters and numbers and stuff in it, do we? So we have to go back out. Nope, you dickhead. Ah. Oh. Has it remembered? That didn't look like it had. I thought we'd done H already. Uh, 
Well, no. Fair enough. So, then. What else do we need to do? So there's no empty ones in here. Should we try the door again? Okay, was that us just winning? Ah, oh, it's so quiet. Is it? I, I mean, I can still hear it. I don't know if it's so quiet that you can't hear it anymore. Anyway. That's not going to be good, is it? What's going on? Was that to turn that off? And have I just f fucked it up? Should we walk through it and see what happens? Well, Kel surprise. Oh, we've got another one. Okay. That's where we've just come from. I've not seen any puzzly things yet. A lot of doors. I don't understand. <laughs> so we've got a tea to fill. But I think we've looked at everything in here, haven't we? Can't get into that. Nope. Bet we can't get into that one either, no. Ooh. Well, look, I think... Um, I think we've probably played as much Escape from the Mind Master as we're going to. It's so quiet. Um, okay, well, we're past halfway now, so um, let's load up our next game. And this one's called Frantic Freddy. 
Let's see if it's got any louder noise than the other one. Okay. Right, we're not catching them. Just saying. Can't climb up though either, for some reason. No, nope, we're not shooting the flames out. Or are we? Yes, we are. Okay. See, and both buttons are doing what I would expect now. Shit. 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 Right, the purple ones we might have a problem with. So it looks like we've got a bit of a... A what, um, a load runner, perhaps? So these purple ones just can do whatever they want. And they shield the other ones. Rebel scums. And now I'm trapped. Wow, how'd you get past these? No, oh, you don't just run into them. Okay. Well, we found out why you're frantic. Purple flames. There must be a way of doing this. Because why would we... Doesn't look like it, does it? distance I'm 
No, they've not. I thought they might go away. Right, okay, so. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? Is it just that they take a lot of pounding? For want of a better expression. Oh, they can be got. And that purple one wasn't chasing me. to round one. Arse. Wish this one had um, hold your finger down and fire automatically. Going mad. That's what it was. Freddy the fire putting out insects sure there's a story behind it oh dear okay let's uh, move on to our next game our next game is difficult to say when you read it it's gateway to Apshai let's get you a screen our second epics game tonight um, which again, totally picked at random. But uh, there you go. Epics. Push a side button to start. Have a drink, a drink first. Okay. Side button. Oh, we've got characteristics. What's going on? And we're just going to collect freaking things that will hurt us if we don't get rid of them. Well, 
How do I use the short sword though? Oh, just, just everything's just, oh. Stupid game. Right, I've got, I've got a short sword. So how do I? Okay. But how do I hit things with it? No, shoot, chip, chip, hit things, hit things. So I have fight selected. What's that gonna do? Do you reckon? You'd like to hope that you're able to fight, yeah? Oh, 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 hello. By a rat. <sighs> Curious, do these dungeons change each time I walk it? Doesn't look like it, does it? So, it does look to me like I might need more than two numbers to play this. Wow, that's a bow. Do I? I don't know. I don't know. I've got a bow, but it doesn't look like I can use it. Weirdly. So, do I need a key for those? There's no way out. So I'm going to have to go right back to the start and go down the other way. Back. As Roy Kemp would say. Whatever it was. Oh, there's dead end here as well. Okay, so what a bag of shite. Um, is there anywhere I haven't been? Oh, I mean, these things they're not secret. No, it's just the edge of the, the map. So, look, there's a bit of a red thing here. What, what, how do we find out what we might have? We've got healing salve or fight. And I can't do the buttons. Okay. Do you know, I should just get a... Whenever we do these shows, I should just get a what's it, a click a visual controller. I've got an adapter, I can plug it in. Yes, it might need some tuning to make it work, but I, 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 look, we're stuck. We're stuck. We've got solid walls all around us. There are some way out, but I need a key for them. And I don't think I can get to a key.
Okay, so they're the two spells that I have, apparently. They're the number one and number two. Select and start doesn't do anything on this game. Hmm. Hmm. Welcome to the shortest episode for a long, long time. Um, look, that was Gateway to Apshai. Um, I don't know how to play it more. If you're really, really bothered, email us or message us to add it to the revisit and we'll come back to it. But I can't seize anybody that will be that bothered about it. Um, so, that means we're down to our last two. Um, so, we're going uh, to play Gyrus. I assume it's pronounced Gyrus. It's not Gyrus, surely. Um, this is a Parker Brothers game. Another company that I have toyed with putting on the wheel as a whole episode to themselves. Um, although we have played a lot of um, Parker Brothers games. Once When you've had a look, it's like, oh, goodness. Yes, we've played lots of them. Um, okay, so Gyrus. Let's have a look. Oh, it's um, it's Tempest, but without the frame, by the looks of it. Oh, it's a little confusing though. You get to here and you have to go to a different place to go around the top and then the other side to go around the bottom. Are they things to shoot? They are. Got me. Neptune. Neptune. Well, they were just going through me, so I don't know what what was trying to shoot then. got five things. Is that all? Yay, we're off to Uranus. Whoa. We're not. We're not going to get to Uranus. See, told you, told you we wouldn't get there. Okay, let's, let's have another go. I 
feel this might be better played with um, a spinny controller, you know, um, a paddle, paddle control. Oh, I don't know though. Something to help with the round and round ness of it, because. Um, Extra. Whoop. Got him back. Oh, died. Dark it. Oh, 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 too many shooty shooters. Oh, I'll never get to Uranus at this point. Stupid game. Oh. There we go. Oh, I must have got more than five this time. Get in there. Three warps. Shit. Whoa! Ooh, you have to get out of the way, don't you? Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Rebel scum. Chasing me.
one more warp. Two more warps to spawn it. Well, Uranus was never to be. Uh, that was Gyrus. Parker Brothers classic. Um, right, okay. Let's do our last game, then, of the evening. Do you know, we might look in our ClecoVision bin and see what else we've got. But uh, but before we do that, let's play the one, the last um, selected game. This is a game called The Heist. Um... So why have we not got it? Where, where is it? There you go. Micro fun. The fun goes on forever. Kinda. Oh, has it started? No, it's not. Not yet. Surely. So this, oh, what? This feels like Bonanza Brothers, I think was the game we played, was it? Tits. Have I lost everything that I picked up? No, I don't think I have. to go down the stairs. There must be an up. That's going to hurt me, innit? Alright. It feels good to be collecting keys. It feels like something we should be doing. How do we get on there? Oh. Oh, I can't get up the stairs. Why? Is that an elevator? Maybe we can... I assume we've got to steal everything, though. Gonna have to get some more keys at some point. Oh, look at that! Brick wall. <laughs> Might give us a chance to try out the elevators. So, down and up do nothing. Obviously left and right and left and right and, and jump. The only jumps that I've got... Oh, I've got music on and off. I've turned the music off and there we go. Um... Start and select don't do anything. Oh! Oh! Right. It's a number pad button that does it then. Oh, well, we're going to run out of time, no doubt. Uh, 
Nah, if I get that, I can't come back up, can I? There's no way out. Well, that's not good. Do I do the same button to get on the elevator? On the thing? Nope. Why put elevators in if you can't, um, escalators if you can't use them? Oh, oh, what the? Well, I don't know how I did it. And now, how do I get across there? Or am I not supposed to? So, what do we do to get on there then? Can't jump while you're on it though. across a brick wall in a minute, aren't we? Oh, somewhere with no key. We need a key now. Oh. And to think I used to play games like this for hours and hours of a weekend when I was a kid. Um, <laughs> I don't want to play that again. <laughs> it's a no from me. Uh, so we're going to just have a quick look and see what we've got to finish up with. Um, in fact, I'm very tempted to um, play an actual official ColecoVision game that we've not done tonight. They've all been by third party providers. Uh, so do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to frustrate the crap out of myself by playing a little bit of Donkey Kong Jr. And because I used to be so good at it, and now that I won't be any good at it because all my muscle memory is different, um, yeah, we're going to do that to end the show. See, I am going to blame the controller, I'm afraid, because... Sometimes you press left and it goes down, and sometimes you press down and it goes left. Oh. Oh, shit. <sighs> no, that was me. That wasn't the controller.
There we go. No! I knew he was going to do that as well. Oh, I was watching the birds. We've got to go again, you know that, right? Fine. Oh, for frick's sake, come on. Jump right in its mouth. Fucker. Oh, you stupid baby monkey. It's gonna frustrate me. Get how this one goes. Oh, 
Go! No, I jump to jump and jump and jump. Go! <laughs> oh. oh, friggity doo da. Friggity a. Ah, well, do you know what? Do you know what? We're done. We're done, he done. Done, he done, he done. Mm. So, the wheel. Um, you know how it works. Let's give it a spin. Oh, no. Let's not give it a spin. Oh, that's disappointing, because... No, F that. Yes, yes, because next week is the start of our October scare -a -thon. Um and we're going to... Um, we're going to be doing four shows of unrelated horror. That's the only relation. They're, they've got some link to horror games. Um... Because in the couple of years that we've been doing this, we've done all the good ones. So um, I think we've got... Um, I don't know. I don't know. There aren't any... There isn't any way of categorising them all. So it's going to be four shows and there'll be seven shows, seven games in each show. And we'll, you know, we'll get out the Halloween shirt and we'll um, start the build-up to Halloween. So that's what we're doing next week. So no wheel. No wheel this week. No. Um, anyhow. Um, thank you. Thank you. Always a little bit of delay from Naughty Cluster. But we appreciate your input. Um, so if you want to email us, talking of input, you can. It's retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk and that is the website, snugradio.co.uk. Um, if you're watching us live on Twitch on a Monday at 7 o'clock, then you know we're on Twitch at Snug Radio. Um, but if you watch the YouTube version, you know we're YouTube on uh, Snug Radio on YouTube. But did you know we were on Twitch and you could watch us live if you wanted? Yes, we are. So that's an option for you. Uh, we're also all over, um, I say all over, and then I only mention a couple of sites. But we're, we, we've got some other places. You can find us on pay, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, and Instagram as Snug Radio. Um, I think we're on Snug Radio's Instagram, on Instagram as Snug Radio, I think. And um, if you join us on YouTube on a Wednesday, we record the uh, the podcast live on a Zoom call, and we broadcast that on YouTube. And um, if you're following us on Twitch, you f you'll know that we do Elevenses on a Tuesday and a Friday where we play the very best in instrumental library music for a couple of hours from 11 till quarter one-ish. Because, you know, I've got to go for my dinner at some point. Um, so that's Tuesdays and Fridays. Yes. Um, also, if you're wanting to buy yourself something nice then you know what I'm going to say if you're a regular watcher. Yes, Naughty Cluster Shop, Ink, Ink Inspiration. There's um, a, there's a, just up up there on the YouTube video, there's a QR code, you can scan it, but if you're not, there's a link in the show notes where you can find all sorts of groovy merch um, from, the, from Naughty Cluster herself, direct from her hands onto your body. Um... The new, the new season of Taskmaster is running, and um, I know Ink Inspiration has a good line 
a very popular line of Taskmaster merch if you'd like to um, get some of your quotes from Taskmaster uh, from there. Um, so, yes, that's Inkyspiration at Redbubble. But like I said, there'll be a link in the show notes. And once you've gone there, um, you can also go to my store, which is The Glorious Idiot um, QR code and also link in the show notes. Um, where, if you know, if you want to spend all your hard-earned cash on cool things to wear and own, then the glorious idiot Red Bubble Shop is the place to go. Yes, there's even some Halloween designs. May I recommend the pumpkin print? There's a couple, couple of different pumpkin prints. You can decide if you want purple background or black. Smashing. They're great. They're almost as good as my shining carpet print. That's not a carpet that's shining. That's the carpet from the hotel in The Shining. Um, so, yes, we've got Halloween merch in the Glorious Idiot Shop and the Red and the um, Ink Inspiration Shop too. So both shops are worth a look, and they're worth a, a, a spend. You know, if you won a lottery or something, if you're a lottery winner watching this, we'd be super happy if you dropped thousands and thousands of pounds on merch in our shops. We would. We would. I know you'd be surprised to hear that, but we would. Um, so that's two ways that you can help the show. You can also help us by doing the obvious stuff like liking and subscribing and sharing with friends and all that rubbish. You know, a, a nice review somewhere would be good. If you do a nice review somewhere, let us know. Because um, if it's not on YouTube, I'll probably miss it. Uh, and that, I think... Is everything uh, for this episode. Don't forget, join us next week for the uh, the start of the Halloween Bonanza Tacula. And um, I think that's everything. So, without any further ado, I've been Math. This has been Sub Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Bye.